Hello, I'm Mark Matera, Associate Professor of History at the University of California, Santa Cruz. I want to begin by thanking Jake Purcell for having the courage to produce the first of these videos and what I hope will be a long series uh, to follow. Uh, and also to thank him for his very thoughtful reflections on these couple of broad questions related to the relative responsibilities and agency of faculty uh, mentors to graduate students and graduate students. I want to begin by uh, kind of where Jake did in talking about the issue of graduate student reticence and bringing up even the topic of careers beyond academia with their faculty advisors and mentors. I think that this reticence sadly is, is still justified. Um, but I also think that some other issues play into faculty members themselves being reluctant to introduce this topic. On the one hand, there is a, a fear that graduate students might take it the same way. And frankly, in my experience, most, at least in the early stages of their PhD studies, most graduate students are entering grad school because they expect and want to become professors, that they want to enter the professorate. So there's a fear amongst many faculty members that suggesting that graduate students should maybe consider other career trajectories is a, is a veiled way of suggesting that they may not be cutting it within the field, something which most of us are, 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 are loath to leave students with, that, with such an impression. I think another major issue is simply ignorance. Uh, I know among my colleagues and myself, we often joke that we are some of the last people, uh, frankly, to be in a position to advise students on alternative career trajectories because we are the ones who stayed in the professorate. Um, this is not to opt out of our responsibilities in this regard to our students, which I think are considerable, but I also appreciate that Jake um, said, quite frankly, that he doesn't expect his uh, faculty advisors or professors to be uh, experts in a variety of outside fields the same way that they are experts in, in their own field and in their own profession. Nonetheless, I also want to second uh, Jake's statement that faculty members have a res great responsibility to at least create a safe space for such conversations to take place. Um, and at least to give, uh, in one way or another, their graduate student advisees a sense that the stakes are lower than they might, than they might think in having such a conversation. That it won't necessarily mean, um, put in jeopardy the quality of recommendation letters they might get from their um, from their advisors or how competitive they are for internal external fellowships and things of the like. So I think that this conversation does need to begin on the faculty side. Um, it is one that I think both faculty members in their own way and graduate students have some justifiable fears and concerns about entering into, but I believe that one of the responsibilities of the faculty is to do a better job of finding ways to initiate that conversation. And I also think that there is a great need for greater professional development um, to help faculty members be better mentors to their graduate students in terms of the variety of career trajectories that they might consider moving forward. Finally, I, also, I want to um, second Jake's statement about the need for, as he puts it, a more holistic approach to graduate students, essentially treating them as, as people with full lives. That involves for me a number of different things, taking into account financial uh, and other livelihood issues that press upon their ability to succeed not only in graduate school, but their, uh, their possibilities in terms of paths they might pursue after graduate school. Um, but I also think this is some, uh, another place where even though faculty mentors may not be experts in outside fields, we nonetheless have something to contribute to graduate students that goes beyond our own more narrow professional expertise. For one, faculty members are often much longer standing me members of the communities that graduate st students live and work in during their PhD uh, while they're earning their PhDs. So we're in beginning to talk to each other more as, as well-rounded people and as not just pro professor, uh, professionals in this uh, academic world, we might f stumble into certain, um, certain conversations about alternative paths and we might actually have more resources as faculty members than we might think in terms of introducing um, graduate students to people in the community they might talk to about other careers who have transitioned from academia. Uh, into alternative career paths, et cetera, uh, moving forward. But again, this begins uh, for me, first and foremost, with faculty members doing a better job of creating space for precisely such conversations. Thank you, and thanks again, Jake.